Philip He from Sichuan is. Hello, Philip. Okay, we're live, guys. Okay. This is Friday, guys. Uh, oh, yeah. Bella is joining us. Bella from China. Also, Philip from China. Hello. Hello, Philip. Hello, everybody. Hello, Victor. Hello. I think something wrong with my. But I can't hear you very oh, well, so it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, Chu Bong, uh, where, where from Chu Bong? From Malaysia. All right, welcome to join us. Thank you. And Kazu from Hokkaido. Okay. We just opened the map of the world and we're looking up where you are, where you're all uh, from now. <laughs> okay. Maya, are we okay? Yes, we're all set to go live. Anytime okay. you're ready, Victor. Hello. Hello, my friends of ABF. Welcome to the second episode of 2022 ABF Online Talk, Passion for Birding. It's our great pleasure to invite Mr. Kensuke Tanaka to talk about birding hotspots in Japan today. Yes, his name is Kensuke Tanaka, but all his friends call him Ken. Ken grew up in Yokohama City. It's a beautiful harbor city. I know that. I, I, well, I've never been there, but you know, I will go there someday. When he was a teenager, he quickly developed a preference for birds over video games and many other things. After graduating from university, he has joined Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA. I know many young people join this program and I know it's very, very helpful, you know, for, for, for the international world and for the young people. And he served in Sabah, Borneo, Malaysia for two years. And now he's a professional guy leading Japanese bird to birders to go birding all over the world, especially Southeast Asian countries. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Ken. Ken, please. Thank you, Victor-san. And hello, everyone. My name is Kensuke Tanaka. Please call me Ken. OK, today I will introduce Buddy in Japan. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. No problem. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Today I will, I will introduce birding in Japan, especially birding tour for foreign birders. At first, I will introduce bird species in Japan. Japan. 67, uh, 670 species has recorded in Japan. About 45 species, uh, about 45 percent is migrant species. They can see only one season, not in whole year. And 12 endemic species in Japan. But now this number is increasing because developing of DNA analysis. Okay, I will show you some species in Japan. At first, I show you some breeding migrants in Japan. Breeding migrants come in Japan from Southeast Asia countries, mainly come from Philippines, Malaysia and Indonesia. In Japan, they can see from May to September. 
the left one this one the leaking fisher is very popular among photographers the center one this one Blue and white flycatcher is also popular for photographer and bird watcher. He is very good singer in lowland forest and fairly common in there. The right one, this one, is Japanese robin, also good singer. Their song is common in mountain forest. But this species is difficult to see because he usually sings in dense bush. The next wintering migrants appear in Japan in October. They come from northern countries like Russia, China, and North America. The left one, Ken Haria, is uncommon visitor. This one. Ken Haria is uncommon visitor, but very popular for photographers. The center one, this one, is parquetted duck. Japan is a good place to see wintering ducks. Usually, more than mm -hmm. 14 or 15 species can see in one tour. This beautiful falcated duck is fairly common, even around capital Tokyo. The right one, this one, is brown. This one is goose. Also, goose is winter bitter in Japan. But we can see goose only some area especially northern part, like Hokkaido. Japan is an island country surrounded by the ocean and sea. So we can see migratory birds even in the ocean. This one, Suka, and this one, Loon, and Sea Water. We observe the, these birds from a regular ferry from near Tokyo to Hokkaido. However, this ferry takes a, take a day one, one way, about 20, 22 hours. So it is difficult to use for short stay travelers because it is not popular for foreign birds. But some Japanese birds are like it, usually mm -hmm. like ferry and can see ska and goons. Okay, let's introduce a birding trip to Japan. Now many companies organize birding tour to Japan. Bird Quest, Tropical Birding, Rock Jumper, Sick Bill Safari, and many companies. The itinerary is usually two weeks tours and organized in winter season. From January to March is popular. They must visit Hokkaido and Izumi, Kagoshima, and usually their extension tour visit to Okinawa Island. Okinawa Island is good for some endemics. Here is capital Tokyo. This is Hokkaido. This is Kagoshima Izumi. And this is Okinawa. Usually, international travelers arrive at Narita International Airport near capital Tokyo. Here. 
Narita International Airport is located about one hour by train or bus from the Tokyo. Today, I will focus on three good birding places Hokkaido, here, Izumi, here, and Okinawa. At first, I introduce Hokkaido. From Tokyo to Hokkaido, from Tokyo to Hokkaido. Usually used by air, about one and a half hours. Hokkaido is very cold in winter. In winter, temperature often below zero degree. Usually minus 10 degree, minus 15 degree like it. Highlight for foreign birders in Hokkaido, Terashi on ice, Blackstone Fisher, Red Crown Crane in snow. But I don't have many experience in Hokkaido. In last week, ABF online webinar, three people, Kazu-san, Kuminami-san, introduced Hokkaido. If you want to know Hokkaido, please check again their upload video. Hokkaido is the largest island in Japan, located in the northernmost part. This is Stella Sieg. On a bird watching trip to Hokkaido, priority should be given to trekking Stella Sieg's, which can be seen from the Nemuro Peninsula. On average, this is the largest eagle in the world, weighing 5 to 9 kilos. In winter season, take a small icebreaker cruise into the ice flow of the Nemuro Strait to photograph them. Usually, Stella Sea Eagle mix with white tailed eagle. This one is white tailed eagle. Another one is um, this one also white tailed. Stella, white tailed. Stella, 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 and Cross. Two species usually mix, but white tailed eagle can see many areas in Eurasia. For example, Mongolia, China, Europe also. Because um, for foreign birders, Stella eagle is priority is high. Stella Sieg is can see easily in Hokkaido, usually from November to March. Hokkaido is easy place to see Stella Sieg, but another place is difficult to see Stella Sieg. Next. Blackstone Fisher is one of the largest owls in the world, which wingspan reaches to 190 cm, nearly 2 meters. The total population of them is only about 140 in Japan. All of them live in Hokkaido, and about half of them live in Shiretok Peninsula. Blackstone fish are living in fish rich rivers, as their main diet is fish. A pair of fish are need about 5,000 fish per year to raise up one chick. Only one family can live in each river. 
In Hokkaido, usually difficult to see this fissure, but there is some special site for seeing them. There is setting a feeding phone and the special lighting system in a stream. So we will visit, visit there, can observe and shoot picture easily in night time, like this. And next, red crown crane. Bad watcher flock from around the world to the Kushiro marshland to see the elegant red crown crane. The Kushiro marshland is the best place to see them. And Kushiro marshland is the only place in the world where they are resident. We can see this crane in all year around. But many photographers visit there in winter season only to take snow crane pictures like it. Okay, next place is Izumi Kagoshima. From Tokyo to Kagoshima by air, about two hours. From Tokyo to Kagoshima. Here is Kagoshima. Izumi is very famous for wintering plane site. Highlight is 10,000 hooded plane and more than 1,000 white naped plane. Like this. Many crane gathered in here. And in this winter, five species crane come in. Hooded crane, white naped crane, common crane, sand hill crane, Siberian crane. More than 16,000 crane wintering in here. The most common crane is the hooded crane. This winter, 15,145 was counted. This number shows from 80 to 90 percent of the world population. Next is white naped crane. This year, 1,545 was counted, about 10% of hooded crane. These, these two species is common, but other species is few numbers only. In this year, Common crane, only eight individuals. Sand hill crane, only four individuals. But in this year, Siberian crane, one Siberian crane is coming in there. Siberian crane is so rare visitor in Japan. Because many bird and photographer are excited and want to go there. But now, COVID situation is so serious because many bird watchers don't want to go there. I want to visit to Izumi to see Siberian plane, but now I cannot go there by COVID. So difficult.
Okay. At last, I introduce Okinawa Islands. Okinawa Islands is Southern Island in Japan and more than 100 islands. From Tokyo to Okinawa by air, from Tokyo to Okinawa by air, about three hours from Tokyo to Okinawa. But Taiwan is more close to Okinawa. From Taiwan to Okinawa, only one and a half hours. Because Victor san can go to there so easily. Okinawa is southernmost part in Japan. The southernmost point, Yonagune Island, is only 100 from Taiwan. In good weather day, we can see Taiwan from Yonagune Island. The largest island is Okinawa Island. And northern part of Okinawa Island is called Yambaru. There is good jungle and good habitat for many species. So Yambaru is the highest priority place for foreign birders in Okinawa Island. And Yambaru area is registered as UNESCO World Heritage Site in last year. And this area can see three end endemics. This one is Okinawa woodpecker. This rare woodpecker lives only in northern chunk of the Okinawa, called Yambaru. Red list category critically endangered. Population size only 100 to uh, 39, mo, um, about 300. This species is an ecological and cultural icon. The, the few remaining pair of woodpecker are on the brink of the extinction. One of the most three of this species is habitat loss. This one is Okinawa Rail. Okinawa Rail is also an iconic species in Yambaru. This species is discovered in 1981. This is the newest discovery species in Japan. Okinawa Rail population is declining in now. Now population size less than 500. Red list category endangered. The main reason for the decline of the Okinawa rail is considered to be predation by Japan mangoes and feral cats. That didn't originally exist in the natural world of the Okinawa island. Not only the Okinawa rail, but also lizards, frogs, and insects. Many small species are also considered to be threatened by these predators. And this one also um, endemic. Duke Robin, this is good bird. This is good singer in Yambar Forest. But this colorful jewel is difficult to see because he usually sings in bush. Because 
can see uh, can hear their song is easy, but can see is so difficult. Okay, today I introduce some birding spots and iconic species in Japan. Now, visit to Japan from foreign country is still difficult. But after COVID, please visit Japan to see good Asian bird and enjoy Japanese food, culture, and anything. I hope meet you in Japan. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, Ken. Thank you. It's a brief but important presentation. Thank you so much. We learn from rotation from Hokkaido to mainland Japan and Hagoshima and Okinawa. So, um, guys, is there any question from you guys? Please show me your hand and you can talk. Okay. So, before anyone has any question, Ken, I have a question to you. Um, Victor, yeah, if we want to go birding in 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 Tokyo, in, but we have only one or two days. Where, where can we go? Yeah. Hi, Ken. Uh, please. Turn on your camera, uh, a microphone. You, you're, you're muted. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. If you want to go birding in Tokyo, you know, where, where, where would you recommend? In Tokyo, in winter season, can see some ducks in Tama River. Tama River is next to Haneda Airport. It is easy to go for foreigners. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For ducks and some bunting and yeah, skylark like it. So, yeah, so easy. What, what about forest birds? Forest birds uh, in Tokyo, uh, Maze Shrine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Meiji Shrine is easy to go to Polina because uh, Meiji Shrine is good sightseeing point. Can see some forest birds, um, variety, and bunting would be better also. Is there any hidden hillside in, 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 in around Tokyo? For bird watching, um, and Tokyo, to, hey, Oka, Oka Moto san, Tokyo, Oka, 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 Especially water bath in there. Yeah, water birds, yes. So, so many in, in winter, right? Yeah, usually um, winter season is good season for foreign birds. But a little bit cold in Tokyo also. Yeah, uh, we have a question on our chat group. Uh, can, um, can, can you read it? Can you see the question on chat group? Oh, you do not tonight, right? Yeah, the, the, the question goes like, uh, what's the cost of two weeks trip covering the three areas? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Please check on the 
ツアーカンパニービジネスポイントのビュー、アザトゥアガイド、アウトセイライガイド、ファイハンドルドルドルドルドルドルドルドルドルドルドルドルドルドルドルドルドルドルドルドルドル Dollar, US dollar per day from the lowest kind of. That's what we want as a tour guide. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it can be pretty expensive to the foreigners. Well, it, of course, it, it, it really depends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, sorry. I'm from. Um, Hokkaido, Japan. My name is Kazu,、um, Eco Tour Guide.、Um, I have、uh, two companies. One is Adventure Hokkaido. It's more like a really、uh, adventure guide type. The other one is、uh, Dai Setsuzan Nature School, which provides environmental education or more like a community based、um, tourism.、So、it really depends on where you stay and stuff. So then you have a A range of the, the where to stay and what you would like to do. If you stay、um, small area, and then of course we can make、um, cheaper, like、um, maybe $200 per night, and a little bit of guiding, half a day guiding, and then you can have your own time the other half of the day. Thanks. So, is there a price of a, a private tour or just for a small, small group? Oh, that's a good point, actually.、Um, that, that was a per person. So,、um, I was thinking of a group of more than five. So, if you have a, more than five people, a group, and then、uh, the budget tour is like that as a private tour. Hmm. So,、um, Andrew wants to know、um, are the number of young bird watchers increasing in Japan or photographers? Now, in Japan,、um, so、many people use c a m e r a Many people use photographers. Yeah. About, 80, about 80%. More than 80%, or maybe 90% is photo- photographer. No, really? Yeah. So, more photographers than the, the just simply b a r a g e r s Yeah, serious bird watcher is so few. Oh. And many people use camera. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Because、um, so、they want to see new birds. They want to take beautiful baths.、Mm-hmm. But what about yourself? Do you take international birds birding in Japan?、Uh-huh. Yeah, do, do you guide international birds? International birds? I, I, yeah, what about you? Yeah. You? Usually, I lead to Southeast Asia.、Mm-hmm. I don't do、um, inbound tours. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I usually lead to Southeast Asia. 
Anazawa live in Okinawa. Anazawa people reading the domestic tour, but he can speak Japanese only. Okay. Because our company cannot organize inbound tour. So are, are, are there um, inbound tour companies? For, 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 mainly for birders? For, for birders, I don't yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, who do we go to if, if we want to go birding in Japan? Can we find any local help? Mm, it, it's a difficult problem. Yeah, please okay. check. Please check local guide only. If okay. you go to Okinawa, please mm -hmm. check guide in Okinawa. If okay. you go to Hokkaido, please mm -hmm. check local guide in Hokkaido, like mm -hmm. we. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Arakaki san. Yes. Uh, but the Scott is uh, uh, faster than I. Okay. Right. So we'll, we'll let Scott speak first. Yes. Scott, please. Okay. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I was just wondering, is the government or anyone creating a coastal wetlands for birding, especially on Honshu Island, uh, either the west coast or the east coast, uh, coastal wetlands? Yeah, uh, here we go. Uh, there you go. Do, do, do you know, you know? I don't know. Okay. What, what, what about Hiroko san? Hiroko, do you know uh, any? Yeah, uh, Hiroko, you're muted. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, if yeah, uh, there is uh, some. There are some good birding spot, uh, coastal birding site in Japan, um, around Tokyo Bay. Uh, there are uh, Yatsuhigata tidal flat, or uh, and uh, Sanbanze tidal flat, or uh, there are uh, many places uh, you can visit. Uh, very close to Tokyo, uh, but uh, which part of Japan? Uh, uh, you are interested in? Actually, I was looking at Western Honshu Island, the other side. Mm -hmm. It's less people there, right? Less crowded mm -hmm. on that side. Yeah, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. I was planning to go there before COVID began. Mm -hmm. Then I canceled. But I just, I think Nagaya, is it? I forgot the name now, but uh, on the mm -hmm. Western side of Honshu. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm just wondering, because in Taiwan, the government doing some, you know, building some wetlands for birds. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if the same thing happening in Japan or mm -hmm. everywhere. Yeah, um, I, I'm not, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with Western country uh, in Japan, but uh, uh, there uh, might be uh, some good place uh, in coastal area in Western country. And do you use eBird? Yes. Uh, so, uh, um, how about uh, checking hotspots? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I just want to, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Quan Jie from Taiwan also mentioned about eBird because he also uh, suggests that we can check the hotspots of, of, of birds, uh, hotspots in, 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 in Japan. That may be very helpful. Yeah. And actually, yeah. I just want to know. Um, and because somebody asked where is the best place around Tokyo City, if we have very, very limited time. So the reason I post eBird of Tokyo is please indicate which species at which location would recommend like the first one or the second one or the third one, the fourth one, and which one would be recommend for a short visit in Tokyo because and um, even I live in Taiwan, I have difficult to this to understand the location of the Japanese area. So like uh, Eko, Goa, what? <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, I know there, there's actually a um, uh, language barrier there, right? 
Okay, uh, let's go on. Yes, Harakaki san, please. Thank you very much. Can you can, can hear my voice? Yes, no problem. Oh, yes. Go on. Thank you very much, Kensuke san. This is a very, uh, very nice to meet you again. Ah, hi. Ogenki desu ka? Hi, Genki desu. Thank you very much for a very wonderful presentation. You mentioned about the Hokkaido Honshu and uh, also Okinawa. Hmm. And, uh, next week, I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to talk about Okinawa about watching, and uh, In next also week. you already uh, introduced the Yambaru area. Yeah. Yeah. In next and, uh, In last week, Kazu-san speaks Hokkaido. Yes. In next week, Aragaki-san speaks of Yambaru. Not only Yambaru, but also I'm this time I'm going to, uh, going to talk about uh, Yambaru, Okinawa, also the another island, Ishigaki, and uh, not only the Okinawa, also I, 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 I'm going to talk about uh, Tokunoshima and... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This World, is, uh, World Heritage, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But very little about on the Tokunoshima and uh, the other one, one island. And I cannot keep uh, keep silent because when you talk about the uh, Okinawa raid, <laughs> okay. uh, there was uh, some, uh, You maybe you have a little bit old data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That data was about uh, 2005. Hmm. 2005 because of the Yam uh, Okinawan rail very much decreased because of the predation of the Indian small mangosu. Oh, I see. Yes, but after that, I, I, I'm going to talk uh, next week. Eh? But, but, uh, but, uh, after that, the fence was constructed uh, close the Yambar area. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, the shelter was constructed in the Ada. Mm -hmm. oh. And the uh, uh, and the eradication effort uh, done by the local uh, people, mangoes uh -huh. bastard, and uh, also used the uh, mangoes searching dog. Mm -hmm. The the consequence of this uh, effort, the Okinawan rail uh, individual number of Okinawan rail individual increasing. Mm -hmm. It is okay. said about uh, now thousand seven hundred, almost same as the. Same as same uh, same number as uh, Okinawa was uh, it was discovered. All right, all right. It's very good. Yeah, uh, very uh, good condition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good condition. Okay. In next week, Aragaki san speak like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. So we are. Thank we're, you very yeah. much for your presentation. Yeah, yeah we look. Look forward to learning more from you, Arakaki-san, next week. Also, the, uh, today maybe uh, Takehara-sensei will uh, also join this mm. presentation. Takehara, I, I don't see him today. Uh -huh. No. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for your presentation, uh, Kensuke-san. いや、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。サンキューベリーマッチアンドベリーマッチ。いや、ちょっとですね。あの、リーディングナイスフォーフォーブーディングユノウ。いや、オフコースウィケンウィケンゴートノーザンパーク
And the, this week, you know, uh, thanks to Ken, telling about telling us about the building sites in mainland Japan. And next week we are going to Okinawa. And Professor Arakaki is waiting us there. I know he's ready. So um, well, let's just look forward to this more from Arakaki Sam. I am um, a breed. I am a breed. Yeah. In last week, Kazan introduced Hokkaido. In mm -hmm. next week, Arakaki san in will introduce Okinawa. Mm -hmm. I am a only breed from Hokkaido to Okinawa. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> yeah. right, right. Yeah, maybe you can tell us more, you know, next time, you know. Yeah. We, uh, we, we love to go to Japan. Japan is a nice country for visitors and, you know, for uh, everything is so good in Japan. Yeah, thank so, you. Um, yeah. So before we go on, let's take a group photo, right? Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your face. All right. Now I see almost everybody. Andrew. Hello, Andrew. All right, Andrew is with us. Jenny. Hello, Jenny and Polly. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Polly. Okay, are we ready? Look at the camera and smile. One, two, three. Thank you very much. Okay, um, super song. I, I like your background. It looks like you. There's a raptor behind you. Super song from Okinawa. Hi. Yes. Did, yeah, did I like your that? background because you know it, it, oh, there's yeah, a yeah. raptor behind you. It looks nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I speak Japanese only. Sorry. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> Alakaki san can help you. No problem. So um do you still have any questions from for for Ken or for Kazu or for Alakaki san? Okay, if there's no question, let's thank Ken again for his nice presentation and we learn a lot from him. So next week, we're going to Okinawa and Professor Arakaki is waiting us there. So we look forward to seeing you guys all next week. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Every you Friday, week. okay, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice week. Bye. Thank you, Andrew. Have a nice weekend. Bye Thank bye. you, Maya. Bye -bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye -bye. Thank you.